shall be healed This is communion Brooke and Jason, so good to be with you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks oh, for yeah. having us. Super exciting, Brooke, to be listening to these new songs. I know you've worked incredibly hard on this record. But this song, I, I felt like when I started listening to these songs, it's like, yep, Brooke is writing for all these things in the church that we need moments to celebrate, you know. And this is one of those songs um, around communion. But talk about this song a little bit. You guys wrote this together. The lyric is so beautiful. And, um, and I feel like it fits. It's not just a song that sets in a communion time. This is a song for the church to just come around and, and sing these things together because it strengthens our faith. But talk a little bit about the writing of the song. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Brooke and her husband, Scotty, and myself, we, it was a couple years back, we got together and we, got to be a part of King of Kings together. And so we, we weren't sure if we even wanted to ever ride again. Because <laughs> you're just there. sort of like, man, <laughs> let's just let that be what it is and, and not disappoint each other ever again. <laughs> but uh, we got over our fears and, and got back together uh, this past year and were able to write a couple more songs that just felt like just an ease. And the friendship and the relation, our relationship has just grown. And um, so this this is one that, uh, I had a thought that maybe we could lean into the subject of communion, and um, there's I've I've never written with anyone better with words than Brooke, and so this just sort of unpacked pretty quick, and it's just the most incredible way, um, just the language around communion and 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 all that that means for us as the church, and it's also kind of wonderful that it's not like this just like dark like brooding uh, it's uh, the remembering of what Jesus mm -hmm. has done and the sacrifices is, is it's it's a it's bittersweet which we mm -hmm. we say but it's not just bitter it's sweet and mm -hmm. so the song kind of feels like it, it marries both of those things yeah. really well um, and Jason's being very humble because that's who he is um, but we were on the second day of a, of a, of a couple of days together and Scotty and I arrived at Jason's house and I remember vividly I'll never forget this moment you sat at the piano and um, you I can't remember exactly how you said it but you were like oh, I, I was playing around with something like this and he sang the communion chorus like top to bottom that double chorus and we were stunned mm -hmm. and we were like when did this when did this happen? I think he was like, oh, this morning. Like, <laughs> like, um, like we had just been having a shower and getting dressed and while we were doing that, he wrote that. Okay. So, you know, but the, that, um, that chorus top to bottom, he brought into the room and there was, it was perfect. There was nothing to change about it. But what I loved about it was obviously the meter, um, which is um, just so musical, uh, but the way that it's placed in this chorus is so approachable. It's, it makes complete sense. It, is, it feels the mo like the most natural thing in the world. But also to me, um, when I heard it, like a little bit of a touch of um, nostalgia, yeah. like in the best way, and also the idea that it's not a it's not a depressing communion song. It is a there is such lift to it, and the idea that um, we could sing these words of remembrance um, in a context um, that feels bright and celebratory, mm -hmm. I think, is such a, a powerful thing about mm -hmm. that chorus. Yeah. yeah. And what I love about this song is it's not just a song. I mean, it is a song for the chosen, but it's also a song that's extending a hand to those that are outside the circle. I often think in church, my mind kind of goes to that person in the back row that maybe they come in, they came in with a friend or just you know, for whatever reason they feel like they, they should be there. And they're, they're watching in on what's going on. Mm -hmm. And a song like this is actually, it's like, hey, come join mm -hmm. the community here. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I love that. Um, I love that part of the song as well because I think, especially with things that are sacred to the church and have been sacred through the millennia, things like the Eucharist, things like the taking of the bread and the cup, things that are central to how we practice our faith as Christians. 
someone walking in up the street, it, it's it's a little, it's not part of their daily experience. And so to have a section of the song where it's saying, um, you know, how can it be, there is a table for all who would come. Taste now and see, there is a table for all who would come. It's like, you don't have to do this, but if you want to put your faith in Jesus, um, you are welcome here. There is a place at the table for you. And at the table, what we do is we take the bread and we take the cup and we celebrate together and we remember Jesus. So, yeah. Wow. It's so good. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for sharing the song with us. Man, just can't wait for the church to hear this and start singing it. Thank you. Thank you.